In the world, some projects are constantly designed and implemented, and something is constantly being built and improved. Every day, a new building, a skyscraper, new cities, and railways are being built with incredible speed. That fast transport is gaining more and more importance because it shortens travel time and connects the most distant cities. Do you think that the construction of this fast railway is expensive? Of course it is. A high-speed railway is being built in the UK for as much as 100 billion pounds. We're sure that this is a great project, but let's take a look together at what it's all about and when the construction is expected to end. Before we continue the video, just remind you what you need to do, which is three clicks as always, like, subscribe, and the notification bell. If you want to hang out and watch amazing videos in the future, do this and you won't regret it for sure. Well, if you're ready, we can start. High Speed 2, or HS2, is the UK's flagship transport leveling up project. It's the biggest rail investment ever made in the north of England and is Europe's largest infrastructure project. The new high-speed line will run between the northwest and the southeast, stopping at Manchester, Birmingham, and London, with trains continuing on the existing network to Scotland and elsewhere. HS2 will integrate with new lines and upgrades across Britain's rail system to deliver faster travel to many towns and cities across Britain not directly on the HS2 route including Liverpool, Sheffield, Leeds, Nottingham, and Derby. 170 miles of new high-speed line is already under construction between Crewe and London. In total, over 250 miles of new high-speed lines are planned across the country, including HS2 Phase 1, linking London, Birmingham, and the West Midlands. HS2 Phase 2A, extending the line to Crewe. HS2 Phase 2B, completing the line to Manchester. HS2 East, linking the West and East Midlands with services to Sheffield and Leeds. Northern Powerhouse Rail, with a high-speed link between Warrington and Yorkshire that relies on HS2 Phase 2B infrastructure. What about HS2 Journey Times? The government says HS2 will cut Birmingham to London journey times from 1 hour 21 minutes down to 52 minutes. Once the second phase is complete, HS2 would also take an hour off journeys from Manchester to London. The plan for the eastern leg was to join HS2 to the existing East Coast Main Line, leading to significantly faster journey times. For example, traveling from London to Leeds currently takes 2 hours and 13 minutes. Under the HS2 plans, it would have taken 1 hour and 21 minutes. The latest proposals mean it would take 1 hour and 53 minutes. Traveling by this railway is truly fast and it will be a real pleasure to travel. So when can we travel? when the construction is finished, right? But when is that? The railway line was originally planned to be open to passengers in 2026, but the commissioning is expected to take place between 2028 and 2031. Here's another question that surely interests you. What will the rolling stock be like for the high-speed rail system in the UK? While the HS2 will be operated with high-speed only trains and classic compatible trains offering higher seating capacities, to serve the large volumes of passengers arriving at the same time. High-speed only trains operate only on high-speed tracks, while classic compatible trains run on high-speed and existing tracks. High-speed trains will run at a speed of 225 miles per hour. Each unit will have a length of 200 meters and the capacity to carry 1,100 passengers. Two vehicles can be joined together for operating during peak times. High-speed trains will require different types of stations, offering a platform height of 760 millimeters. All this is great, but like any big and expensive project, this one has caused different opinions and criticism, too. HS2 has faced a lot of opposition, much of it to do with the environmental impact. Pressure group Stop HS2 believes it will increase carbon emissions and damage the area's natural beauty. Protesters, including veteran eco-protester Swampy, have built tunnels in an attempt to disrupt HS2 construction. On the other hand, supporters of HS2 say it will help cut the number of cars and lorries on the motorways and reduce domestic flights. Well, it's clear that opinions are divided, and that's okay because everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But despite all the criticism, this project continues and time will tell how much it will help humanity, especially UK residents. What's your opinion on the high-speed railway? Write your comments or criticism in the comments below and we'll be happy to read all of them. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the video. We hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you again soon.